the only thing you have to offer this world is that which is uniquely you. What that means is you want to get to this place where you're genuine, where you're authentic, where you're the real you. And that's a statement that I learned from my old acting teacher, Sidney Kay, who, uh, who was really a true Zen master. He taught the Sanford Meisner technique for over 50 years. And I got to have him in his prime and really studied under him and mentored under him. He's one of my teachers. He's one of the people who's responsible for me being me and my ability to connect with other human beings. Because really, Sanford Meisner defined acting as two human beings connecting under an imaginary circumstance. And then he spent his life, that guy's life, and then Sydney's life, all in this effort to get people to connect under an imaginary circumstance in a genuine, authentic way, in a moment-to-moment -moment real way. And so my life now has become uh, getting two people to connect under a real circumstance in the boy meets girl world in that sense and that's been my great improvisation improvisation this endless boy meets girl improvisation and along the way I've discovered a lot of things uh, some inner truths and some outer truths and the truth is is the only thing you do have to offer that in this world is that which is uniquely you and there's ways to get to it there's ways to shed your false beliefs about yourself and about the world. There's ways to be beautiful without having to do much at all. And that's really just to pay attention to your own breath and pay attention to another person. When you really listen to yourself, be on your own breath, and you listen to another person, you'll never be more interesting. You'll never be more beautiful. And I mean, listen, I love being silly and zany and I'm off the wall and it's fun and it's engaging and it's, uh, it's infectious. Uh, and I've explored all that with the feedback I've gotten from audiences and individuals and the world itself is there's nothing more beautiful than listening to another person. You'll never be more engaging, you'll never be more sexy, you'll never be more seductive than just simply listening and paying attention. It's so important. You know, to be with someone who really listens to you, to be around people who really understand and empathize with you, and it can really give it their best to see you for you. That's how you make deep connections. That's how you be interesting. So it's a little affirmation I like to say to myself and I like to share with my clients, which is, my presence alone is a gift to others theirs to me. My presence alone is a gift to others and theirs to me. Your presence is you paying attention, you being there. So if you're with a really attractive person and you feel like, boy, I better step it up, I better start being really interesting and do something, you know, bring some money to the table or bring a car or, or say something crazy, you don't have to. What you can do is just focus on your breath, pay attention to your breath, and just be in the moment. Just be there. Be with that person. Just be fully with that person.